All right, everybody. So today's lesson is going to be about how your expectations are causing your own problems, but it's also me facing my fear of filming outside in public for the first time. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, this video is a tribute to my good buddy Cody Warner and you need to go check out his channel like if you are a rewired soldier and you're about getting into the solution you need to go check his channel out uh, Cody he says all the time that his channel is designed for the doers my whole point the channel purpose is to encourage the doers if you're trying to do something I want to help you do it. So if you need motivation to get off your ass and go make some stuff happen which can improve your mental health, you need to go check out Cody's channel and go subscribe to him. And someday when Cody and I are in the same city or state, we're going to do a collab too because he's done some videos about dealing with ADHD and stuff and how he turns that into a strength rather than a hindrance. All right, so yeah, what are we talking about today? We are talking about the situation currently where the podcast Call Her Daddy uh, exposed, if you will, Tana Mojo, but they didn't really. And quick disclaimer, as I go through this video, this video is not to uh, excuse Tana's behavior in any way, shape, or form, but one of the things that I try to teach in my book, Rewire Your Anger, which is linked down in the description below, is that it's a lot easier for us to fix us than it is to fix the rest of the world. All right, so here's here's a story and you'll start to see what I mean. So Call Her Daddy is a podcast and they showed some clips in their video about how they were so excited, so excited to have Tana Mojo on their show because they love Tana so much. They love what Tana's brand is all about. But what ended up happening was Tana ended up uh, going out on an all night bender and she didn't show up for the podcast. So Call Her Daddy made this video saying that Tana Mojo screwed them over. We were so excited like embarrassing and yeah. excited it's not fair no it really f***ed up our entire day but are we really surprised is anybody really surprised like i made a video not that long ago about how like are we really surprised that tana mojo screwed up TanaCon? so call her daddy said they love tana mojo and they love her brand so what is tana mojo's brand tana mojo's brand is being a screw up being a mess. So if you love her brand and what she does, how can you really be surprised that she flaked on you and didn't show up? Do you see what I mean? So this, again, this video isn't necessarily for Call Her Daddy. It's not for Tana Mojo. It's for all of you because there's so many lessons that we can learn from these things about how we put these expectations on other people. But when we realize who that person is, we can, you know, lower our expectations and we don't get caught off guard, all right? One of my favorite sayings is, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. All right, so for those of you who are wondering, I am in beautiful California visiting before I go to LA to do some other collabs. But I actually talked to my dad this morning and I wanted to, um, I got his permission to share this story with you. All right, so my dad, he's had a friend since as long as I can remember. So over 30 years, right? And this friend of his, they always hit him up and ask for money, okay? But they never want to hang out. They hit him up, borrow money, but they never want to hang out or anything like that. So a month or two ago, my dad um, and I are talking on the phone and he's telling me this story. He's telling me this story. And as he starts to tell me this story, I already know where it's going. And I just start laughing at him, right? And he's like, why are you laughing, punk? That's the way my dad talks. And <laughs> I'm like, dad, I would be more surprised. I would be more surprised if this person 
actually hung out with you and didn't do the thing that they always do rather than what you're saying which is that they just use you for money I'm like dad they've been doing this to you for 30 plus years are you really are you really surprised that this person did it again right like do you guys see what I'm saying so trust me when I'm giving people tough love out here on YouTube it's not just you guys it's not just you guys it's everybody all right because how can we be surprised at this stuff I've had many friends in my life who are just known to be flakes hell I used to be a flake right but like when I expect you know my friend who loves to go out and party and stuff like that and flakes on me all the time and I want them to help me come move and then they don't show up like what was I really expecting from them? Can I really be surprised about this situation? All right, so another situation, I don't know how many of you follow me on Twitter or you're on Twitter at all, but there was a recent situation with Demi Lovato involving what happened with 21 Savage. So for those of you who don't know about that situation, 21 Savage just recently got arrested by ICE because it turns out he is from the UK, he overstayed his visa, and he might be getting deported. So there was a bunch of memes about 21 Savage because everybody thought he was from Atlanta, and Demi Lovato tweeted out, you know, how the best part of the Super Bowl was the 21 Savage memes. And Twitter does what it does best, and they came at her and they started throwing her addiction in her face and all this. And as a resident drug addict, a lot of people ask me my thoughts and my opinions on this situation. So I talked about it in a series of tweets. And basically what it came down to is this tweet that Zach is showing you right here where I said, listen, listen, we all know, we all know that people on Twitter break rule number one all the time. They can be dicks, all right? To expect people on Twitter to not act like dicks is setting yourself up for failure okay so I started having a back and forth with somebody on Twitter and they were saying that you know it's it's not equal right like Demi Lovato talking about 21 Savage getting deported is not equivalent to people talking about how Demi Lovato overdosed and her drug use I told her I was like I agree I agree I said I know that you know that Demi Lovato knows that logical people know that but the thing that we need to remember is that many 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 people on Twitter are not logical okay so I said maybe Demi Lovato needs to be on Twitter because if she has a false expectation in her head that people on Twitter are not gonna be dicks to her then she should stay off of it all right but life becomes so 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 much better when we expect exactly what it is from people for who they they actually are so yeah again again like <laughs> I don't sympathize much with call her daddy and their podcast they knew exactly who Tana Mojo was are they really surprised that she didn't show up but again this video is for you I want you to start looking in your life I want you to start looking around and saying what do you expect from people are you really ca caught off guard or surprised when people in your life have shown you who they are and they do the exact thing for the person that they are and the characteristics they've already shown you time and time again all right let's have a conversation down below because this goes into setting boundaries cutting people out and all of that so again again <laughs> I'm sure Zach had a fun time editing this but a huge shout out to my buddy Cody Warner I am going to link his channel down in the description make sure you go check out his channel he makes videos all the time all last year he did daily he made a commitment to do daily vlogs for all of 2018 and he accomplished it now he's kind of dialed back with the quantity that he puts out but he's still putting out amazing amazing content even better content and it is designed to help motivate people to get off their ass and go do something so make sure you go check out Cody all right but anyways that's all I got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you would like to help support the channel and get exclusive perks free books little uh, private chats and all that stuff you can click the top right there all right thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time